welcome back to my channel so in today's video it's finally time to finish off my nails so I did four nails already and we are gonna do the same on the thumb I will show you as well quick removal because I do have some design from before and some leftover gel so we have to remove that in order to do a new set so please um, join me in this video don't forget to like and subscribe Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna start with my machine. I'm gonna be using um, Big Titanium Bitch and I'm gonna be using it on the um, 13,000 spins. Okay, so first I will just start to slowly take off the previous design. And I'm gonna turn my table just a little bit. I'm gonna start to remove the leftover have to be careful um, to see if there is any lifting of the product if there is any lifting of the product you guys have to remove it completely before you apply um, new product on top of it if you are interested a little bit a little bit more about that please check out my other video that I have it's full in depth about the removal what you should do in, if you do have lifting problems or if you don't so please check them out There is a lot of gel on my nails, so I have to remove it. If there is no lifting happening, I'm gonna leave a thin, thin layer of the product still on my nail because I want to avoid the chance of overfiling my nail. But if I um, see some lifting happening, then I will remove the product completely. always clean the dust in between just to see how everything is looking because sometimes because of the dust you cannot really see what's happening so always make sure you do remove that dust Also, I will start to make this nail shorter because you can see the shape is not correct um, because those nails that I had on before were super super long I just cut them uh, with the drill I didn't do any shaping or anything afterwards so that's why we don't have a um, uh, normal um, or perfect shape let's say so I'm gonna make it shorter now I have to check the skin underneath um, not to touch that Slowly cutting it. Okay, and removing because we can see there is a lot of product still there. We don't want that, so just start to drill it off. If you are doing refill process, then it's a little bit different. 
we are not removing so much of the product unless of course there is lifting but because I'm gonna be doing a new set I'm gonna be applying a nail form I have to remove um, as much as possible I will just dust everything off and I will just continue with 150 um, nail file. I will start to shape this nail a little bit oval. And underneath to remove any thickness. now I will just start to file the gel a little bit um, we have a natural nail here but I will leave that until later when I actually start to do the full preparation but now I just want to make the gel thinner and I'm gonna do it with the file just because we um, came super super close to the natural nail so this is the part where you want to stop with the machine so just with the hand file I will start to remove any excess material that's left I have full video in depth about step by step how I do it but I start always the same so I'm gonna be using my machine and my big cylinder bit to remove any dead cuticle that I have on my nail plate and never going more than 10,000 spins so I would say around seven five to seven thousand spins and I'm gonna start to just cut off any cuticle that's on the natural nail with this one I'm slowly pushing the cuticle back as well allow me to go a little bit more detailed around the cuticle to remove really if there is any sticky skin left um, around. super now it's time to make this nail matte so we have to remove the shiny layer we can either do it with the hand file in that case you need to use really really soft hand file 
um, or if you're doing it with the machine as well you have to use a soft sanding paper bit um, both of them um, I would use 180 grit or 240 would be the max but never use buffer I wouldn't recommend you uh, using a buffer to prep the nail okay so always choose um, 180 grit file or you can go a little bit softer um, but my preference is always 180 grit okay but this step I'm gonna be using now the machine so I'm gonna go slowly around just the natural nail part and then I'm gonna just go a little bit on the gel part because I still left some product there just to kind of make everything thinner and blend it a little bit better Okay, if we don't have the machine, I will now show you how to do it with the hand file. Okay, so I will just start piling around it's super soft I don't have to worry about damaging the nail of course you're not gonna go sh sh on the natural nail plate so be gentle but if you use the soft file you don't really have anything Especially around the corners this is where you want to really make sure you removed all the shine and around the cuticle okay. so as we see the nail is completely matte check the corners Lovely. Okay, so my next step now is the hydrator. Just spray it and let it dry. As that is drying, I can see a little bit of color left. So I'm just going back dust it off next step now i'm gonna be using this product this is from yana nails it's called magic air bond and it's um, um acid free primer that's not sticky i really do believe that it's magic in the bottle so i'm gonna be using oh, i'm gonna be using that one now for my preparation and i'm gonna put it on the whole surface turn the table off apply it just on the whole surface it can go just on the natural nail but um, I like to apply it on the face okay next product that I'm gonna be using is gonna be the base gel and I'm gonna be using base gel from Yana Nails which is called Booster it's super super good really makes um, your job a lot easier because that product will stay there without lifting booster it's super super strong and once again this is not sponsored this is me just telling you the products that i love to use um there is i always like to mix brands as well so um in one video you probably saw me using some other um, base gels or primers or whatever but I want to show you all that I love as well so this is one of the brands that I truly love so I'm taking a little bit of booster and I'm gonna apply it on the whole surface super thin 
make sure you don't go on the skin. So booster or any base gel should be applied super super thin. If you apply base gel in a thick layer, you can have little problems. And then you wonder, what did I do wrong? I did everything step by step how I was taught. But if you, <clears throat> if you go overboard with the amount that you apply on the nail, it can be a problem. Okay, now I'm gonna put this um, in a lamp for um, one minute, but I'll just a little bit here with my file, I saw something, a little dust. Okay, and I will just move. Okay. And let's pop this in a lamp for one minute. Make sure when you do the thumbs on the client that they always go nice and straight in a lamp because sometimes um, if they hold it like this, there is a possibility of one side not getting cured or especially when you apply a little bit bigger amount of gel on the nail and she puts her hand like this in a lamp, like a little bit tilted, the gel will run there because remember gel is a liquid so it's gonna move around so it's super important that your client really follows the simple rules that we tell them to keep the fingers nice and straight in the lamp. As that is curing I will slowly start to prepare the nail form. Well, it's a little bit harder with one hand, so I'll actually, I'll wait for the full um, curing time to be over. Okay, so after that has been fully cured, now it's time to apply the nail form. And be careful when you touch things, because base gel is supposed to be sticky. So even when it's dry from the lamp, it has to be sticky. So make sure you don't touch anything, um, so you don't get any fluff there. Okay, there is also a video about the nail forms, how to cut them, how to tailor the nail forms. So if you want to learn that more in depth, please watch one of my videos. You will have it in the playlist when you go on my channel. Okay, I'm just cutting this part because I'm not gonna do a super long nail. This is the length that I'm gonna be um, doing so i don't need that part so i just removed it okay and i'm gonna be doing um almond shape today so i'm gonna pre prep my nail form according to the shape that i will do So always make sure that your form is without any gaps and that it's applied correctly according to the shape that you are going to be doing. Super! Okay, so this is the form application. As we can see, it's gap free don't have any space um, between the nail and the gel that's super important and now it's time to take the builder gel and the builder gel I'm gonna be using today it's also from Yana Nails and it's called Architect Pinch and Build Extreme I love 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 this product it's super good for pinching super flexible um, and it's super strong so it's perfect for everybody so first I'm gonna take a small amount, apply it just on the natural nail and then I'm gonna take a bigger amount to apply on the 
natural nail um, but wear the form and the gel uh, not the form and the gel wear the form and the natural nail meet okay guys so after I applied a thin layer on the nails now I'm gonna take a bigger amount of the product to apply it on the place where the nail form and natural nail meet so we are creating the connection and we are creating the extension and slowly with light touches I'm gonna start to move the product around one side then another one so slowly And then once you're happy with the extension you pop it in a lamp for the full curing time unless you want to pinch it if you want to pinch the product then depends on your lamp how long the product should be in if you have super strong UV LED usually it's 10 seconds but again it depends from the product that you use so it can be more so please check with your manufacturer how long you should have the product before you pinch it just making sure I have enough on the sides. If I need more, I just go back and I add a little bit more. And Super! Once I'm happy, I'll pop this in a lamp. Um, in my lamp, it's 10 seconds before pinching, so we're gonna wait for 10 seconds and then I'm gonna pinch it with my pinching tool. Okay, always double check. That the gel is not too hard and not too soft and it's perfect and slowly I'll start to pinch and I'm gonna apply the pinching tool and I'm gonna pop it back in now for the full curing time uh, the reason why we pinch the nails is um, first to make them slimmer, second to get a really nice C curve. So especially when you're doing square shape, I would recommend you pinching the nails. Um, and also over some time, especially when you do a new set, it's really nice to pinch because you're kind of, um, not forcing, but you're kind of, uh, creating a new way of the natural nail to grow so automatically the nail will grow a little bit slimmer so especially if somebody suffers from flared nails so that the nails grow super wide this is super cool technique then to do on them because you can really help them um, to grow their nails a little bit more slimmer of course it's not gonna be completely but um, over some time it can really make a difference Lovely, now I'm gonna just remove the pinching tool and I'm gonna remove the nail form. Don't push the nail form, so you just slowly pinch it up from a lower portion and just remove, easy peasy. Okay, now we have our um, extension. As we see, it's not perfect. Um, we still have to create the apex, the strength, so this is exactly what I'm gonna be doing so first I will apply a thin layer across the whole surface and I'm gonna be using the same gel Lovely. I like to start from the free edge then I go towards the cuticle so I'm taking a bigger ball I will apply it on the free edge and move it from side to side and as I mentioned after I finish with this part, I go to create the apex um, and to apply the product close to the cuticle. But you can start from the cuticle towards the free edge. There is no rule. It's really what's your preference at the end, at the end of the day. super close to the cuticle but don't touch it don't want any gel on the skin okay and all the 
just turning the nail. Also, I will just turn my hand upside down, that way the gravity will help me with the product moving a little bit down. If you see that it's starting to run to the skin, it's always nice to just turn it upside down. I turn it back just to check now apex and everything. And if I'm happy with the application, I will just go back in a lamp. I will just clean a little bit around this area here. I think I put a little bit too much. So before I go to the lamp, I make sure that everything is how I want it. Awesome, and I will pop it in a lamp for the full curing time. If you start to feel a little bit um, heat kind of sensation, can take it out leave it out you can also press it down to the table a little bit and once the brain is gone you can pop the back you can pop the hand back in a lamp okay lovely after that has been fully cured we can see how that looks like now um, the shape is not perfect or it's far from that so now we have to take our best friend which is our nail file and we need to um, you know shape it so we can get really nice um, almond shapes such as those ones here so that's exactly what we are gonna be doing but before I start to file we need to clean the sticky layer so no matter how many minutes um, your product is in the lamp if it's a gel or any type of gel product it's always gonna be sticky so before you start to file you need to clean the sticky layer with cleanser gel cleanser okay and now it's ready to be filed I'm gonna be using um, I'm gonna use the file um, which is 180 grit um, and I'm gonna start slowly by shaping it and I'm gonna turn my table so the sound that you're about to hear is just my table So for me, the most important thing is that when you're doing an almond shape, that everything is nice um, and straight from the side, so we don't have a claw, so the nails are not going down, if that makes any sense. So when you look at it from the side, you can see apex, you can see the strength, but how can I show it here? Okay, now we can see, I will just try to oh, divide them like this, you can see it's nice and straight there, it's not like going down and also when the nail is a little bit longer I like to go slightly bit more pointy but if it's shorter then I go a little bit more oval at the end of the day it's the preference of your client how they prefer but perfect almond I think should be in between and now I will start to file the surface Okay, holding my file this way and I start first with the cuticle working my way through the full surface please make sure you file the nail super nice especially around the cuticle area because once that nail starts to grow if it, if it was not filed correctly around the cuticle area you will have huge amount of product there and it's gonna be super visible and super thick and that's not nice. Just 
gonna remove some cuticle. After we are finishing with filing and removing cuticle, I will just buff this nail with the buffer before I apply the color. And now it's gonna be time for our color application. As we can see, the nail is super smooth, it's super um, thin as well but not too thin so it's gonna break we have our apex and we have our shape okay always double check before you start to apply the color actually go a little bit more here Okay guys, so now it's time for the color application and the color I will use today is from Yana Nails number 17. Okay, so this is the gel polish. Now I'm gonna use my color brush. Just gonna put a little bit on the brush and move it close to the cuticle. So it looks like the color is growing from underneath the cuticle. Don't leave any cut. If you see some dots a little bit on the side, just go okay, just 
go around before you cure that. But make sure you remove now any dust that you might have caused. Okay, and now it's time for the full pigmentation. So going back with the bristle from the bottle and start to apply my primer. Also, before I pop this in a lamp, I will just take this brush that has two sides. So I'm gonna use the long, slim side. And I'm gonna move the product around the cuticle. Perfect, and now I will pop this in a lamp for the full curing time, which is one minute. If you're happy enough with one coat, leave the one coat and then you apply your top coat. It can be shiny matte, but I will apply another thin layer of color. I always prefer to apply two thin layers rather than one thick layer. So everything is kind of nice and thin. We don't um, cause any further thickness with the color because sometimes if the color is not pigmented you have to apply so many layers and then you're kind of losing the shape that you worked with the file for so long or not for so long maybe just very um, you're very detailed to really make sure that the shape is nice and then you get the color that you have to apply so many layers and you lose that shape so we'd never want that so always um, try to get the colors that are really nicely pigmented and that you don't need to apply so many layers but it's always nicer when you apply two thin layers rather than one thick layer okay and now it's time for the second layer super thin Go 
and the edge. Now if it did happen that you maybe touch a little bit the skin around before you apply it to the lamp, make sure you just clean it. Returns. Uh, returns. Lovely, and now we can apply it back in the in the nail, back in the lamp for the full curing time. So take your time with the color application because um, you really want to make sure that it's nice and tidy. Because if that color is not applied nice, um, then the, whatever you do next, it's not going to look the best. So always make sure that you do take your time with the color application and of course with filing because if you didn't file correctly, it, the color is kind of like your detective, it will show you everywhere that you went wrong. Lovely, okay. so. This has been fully cured and now it's time to apply our top coat. Okay, I'm gonna use the shiny top coat. And this one doesn't have a sticky layer, so once it's finished, you don't have to clean the sticky layer with the cleanser. Lovely, and let's apply it for one minute. Also, I see that um, as I was filing, I kind of filed off my previous nails, the top coat a little bit, so I will just reapply the top coat there as well. And super so this is then the finished result as you can see super nice we have our apex we have our strength it's super thin as well you can see from this perspective i'll put my glove here so you can see okay and from the side view you can see as well and there you go, this is how you get the perfect almond shaped, um, salon almond shaped nails. 
perfect red color application super tidy color application um and just um in general i think there is um nothing more classier than really nice um set of red um, nails especially when it's super tidy um, color application that's super important so i hope this video will help you um, if you did like it please don't forget to like and subscribe leave a comment the comment below will leave the comment below as well if you have some further questions and i want to thank each and every one of you um, we are slowly growing and that really makes me happy so thank you so much for your support and i will see you in the next video ciao